So, uh, right now I have a uh, pro game loaded up. Um, it's between Chochikun and Ketao Masao. I don't know how to say their names. But um, they're both nine, nine Don pros. And um, so, like, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that, like, I, I was hesitant to make a video like this because I don't really understand a lot of the moves that they make. And so, um, it's still kind of true, like, I still don't understand most of it, but, um, I reviewed it with, um, his name, his name is Zach, and his, his KGS name is Zep, and he's the channel that I've been linking to, and, uh, so he went through this game with me and helped me review it, so, he helped me understand it a little, so I'm gonna make this video now, and it's still, um, it's not gonna be, like, a full, complete review, but, you know, I'll, I'll go over some of the main points that, that we noticed. Um, anyway, so uh, we start off, and with you can see now that like Black with these uh, two, three, four points is that he's trying to go for territory, and you can see that with this move. Um, so he's just trying to secure territory, not necessarily influence. Um, so White plays this move. I think it goes like this. Um, so if you look at this territory, uh, the territorial move at E3, um, another thing that Black's trying to go for is this move right here. Um, if he if he can manage to get that move, then you know it creates large influence and he can build a a big uh, moil around here. So that's a big point for Black. So um, a common move for White in this in this position would be to be to play there, but uh, instead White approaches the corner. Um, Black jumps out. White cuts back, and now Black gets that move. So you know um, this is a pro game, so you know White had to have seen that. He must have noticed. So uh, he he chose this path for a reason. Um, now White encloses this territory. Uh, so this is a territorial move as well, and it's also aiming at um, a later move uh, right here uh, to uh, attack black space and um, you know create uh, influence on the right side. So um, let's see, black takes this move. Um, now you can see with these you can see that these all all these stones work together well he's trying to create a large moyo in the like the whole bottom left quadrant basically and um, so white has to deal with that but first he takes this move uh, attacking black space and a common response here would be to play this or this like those those seem like obvious moves um, but they're they're too slow like if uh, Black plays this. White has this move, which can, which attacks Black space, and now you can see that Black isn't alive and doesn't have a base. So now Black's gonna have to run, and White will gain influence in territory while Black runs. So um, Black saw this and played this move first, uh, securing that territory for him, making that group alive and gaining territory. White has to respond, and then Black takes that move. Um, this move is, you know, protecting against that the R12 stone, but at the same time, he's waiting for an attack. Uh, like, so if White plays elsewhere, Black has this move here, in which case, you know, uh, White has to run, and as White runs, Black will be gaining territory influence. So. That's an important move, but you know, white again. These are pros. They have to. See, they chances are they see this stuff, but um, he deci white decided to take this corner instead because he he thought it would be bigger and a sente move. So um, black decides to invade and also pincer at the same time with this group right here um, in order to reduce the territory that uh, black or white has the potential of getting in the top. Uh, white pincers and black jumps. Um, the next common move here is for white to jump like this because that group, that white's group isn't alive yet and so a common one point extension 
uh, will help white jump into the middle and create uh, more eye space. But white plays this move. Um, you know, this this move looks weird at first. Um, there's a lot of uh, weakness in that shape, but it comes out to help white in the end. Uh, white white has read pretty far with this move, and you know you can see it play out here. Um, black jumps out into the middle. Uh, white secures this uh, territory up in the top left to protect it against. Uh, this move. So, white jumps up, and now black attacks that weak shape. Um, white hunters, black extends, white extends, and black comes in right here. Um, this is this is. Uh, it looks like a good good for black. Uh, you see this, and right now things are looking good for black. Um. It looks like these stuff. Oh, whoops! My bad. I didn't want to edit those. Uh, there we go. Um, it looks like these stones are, you know, like cut off. They're weak. They need to run. Uh, these stones um, can have the potential to connect out over here to the white group. But the point is, is that like black has and uh, white. White's in trouble in that area. It looks like so. Oh my, my bad. So you keep going. Um, white or black cuts uh, cuts white's groups off. But now it looks like white's turned the shape around. Um, so eventually, white has the potential to connect out here still. But these stones look a lot stronger now, and Black's group right here looks very clunky and doesn't have a lot of eye space. So now Black's the one on the run. Um, so Black threatens to cut. White connects underneath. Black comes up, and now with this move, uh, you can see that White stones have connected, and at the same time the weakness that black that white had right here is gone so if you it comes back all the way to to back here with this move the reason why I played this move was he read that far ahead that's what um... twenty one to like forty read like twenty moves ahead and knew that with this move he would be able to connect out and protect his weakness at the same time so it was actually kind of brilliant by white in my opinion um, also a little bit about Chochikun, uh, he's actually like one of the, the greater players of, you know, like this, like our era of this time. Uh, he's, he's not like, one, he's not like one of the legendary players that are going to be remembered for history forever, but he's still one of the top players in the world. Um, so yeah. Um, so now you see, uh, white's, white's looking good and black needs to to deal with this somehow. So he, he peeps here, white has to connect. And he peeps there, white has to connect. So now it seems like um, like this game is kinda like a seesaw type thing. Like first white looked in trouble, then it looked like white turned it around and black was in trouble. But now with this shape, white kinda looks like it's in trouble again. Um so like these stones look like they can get surrounded so and with this move with those two peeps and that move like you see with that sequence um so white's protected this group and he can uh with this move he can connect out but um at the same time with these the two peeps and mo the, these three moves like this in the center uh, black's building you know good influence over the center and they work well with the large influence that Black has down here. So, you know, things are kind of looking good for Black now. Um, um, Black cuts under. Um, this is, this is, this is a move I would think of, like, um, I don't know, it's a weird move. I don't understand that one too well. But it's, he, uh, Black starts to fight down here. And so white, I don't 
don't, yeah, see, like, I don't totally agree with Black's move earlier, because White ends up walling around it, and now has a way into the middle. So I think Black had it could have had a better move somewhere to connect towards the middle, but, um, with this peep and with this extension, Black has, you know, he's kind of, like, secured this territory down here, and these three stones will work well with these to uh, wall off White's attack into the middle to like because White's going to try and reduce so those stones work well together um this move um is also weird you, uh, most people would expect White to jump out in the middle if he's going to play in this area or something like that but um he just does a diagonal extension which is weird but uh, I'll get to that later there's this part I saw that maybe White read ahead again um, but I'll get to that later. So, so with Black's move like this, he's sealing off, you know, the middle, and White needs a way in. Uh, White can, can come in around this area and reduce, but, um, White needs something bigger than that if he wants to win. So he comes into the middle with an invasion. Um, if White can make this stone, like, live well and connect, chances are White's gonna win. Um, so Black needs to try and cut it off and surround it. So you see him trying to wall off from the top. And now uh, he's attacking the base so that it's harder for White to make life. So, you know, he secured this territory on the left. And at the same time, you know, White doesn't have any eye space right there. But White is attacking Black's weaknesses, taking Sente and now uh, Black has to play this move to you know cut off White's eyes but it allows White to extend and now there's this move so I'm thinking what happened was White here wait what move is that? that's 89 okay so White red from from 66 to 89 is what I'm assuming happened. Uh, so he plays this move, which looks weird, but he he foresaw Black's um, you know extension, and he had read out what happened with this invasion, and he realized now that at this point, um, it's uh, sure, let's say Black plays somewhere else for the sake of I'm just gonna put Black there, and White can cut here. Um, you know, this is a very complicated position, I don't understand it too well, but I'm assuming Black has to protect that, and White can peep, like that. I think that's kind of what White's aim was, I'm not sure though. So, I'm, so, you know, I something tells me that this move was actually a very big move, and um, kind of is what helped White win. Uh, Black didn't see White's intentions, I don't think, and so until now, so he has to respond to that now. Black's able or White's able to secure uh, more of the left and secure the middle territory. And now Black has to three three invade because he realizes. I think I think he realizes that he's in trouble. Um, he still has influence over the middle, but I think the only way for him to win here is if he can take that entire middle. But there's too much, um, like, Aji and, or, like, potential for White to reduce around here. So, uh, he tries to reduce White first, takes Sente. Big reduction moves. So you see White's um, settled the top left. Uh, so this stone wasn't really, uh, he never intended to live with that stone, but it was kind of like, uh, if you watch the other game, it was a, it was a sleeper move, where uh, if you see, it was in my, um, uh, I think it was the middle game, middle game discussion that I, that I put up, where he put a sleeper move so that it, it helps him later with like reducing because now with that stone there, White's, White can't respond, and the 
ooh, in the ideal fashion. So um, now with this move, blacks. Um, so okay, so white has or black has a lot of influence in the middle. So it would be common, you would think, for black to play something like this to try and secure the middle territory. But the problem with that is if black plays this, white can still reduce black's territory. And if he tries to secure like down here or something like that, white can reduce from here. So black sees this and he realizes that if he tries to take the middle, he's just going to get reduced from one way or the other. So he's taking, he's using his influence and stuff to take sente moves. So he's taking this sente move, and he tries to take, he takes it with that one, uh, with that one as well. And now, white's white's try, white's fighting. Um, and by fighting, I mean he's not following Black's plan. He's not. He's trying to. Uh, go on the counter attack with uh, you can see it with um, this move like trying to cut off this stone and with this move reducing uh, not only like reducing this corner for black and making black respond but he's also like securing territory right here so black has to respond and black's group lives but white has sente and after this you know you can see blacks blacks at a loss because his his white has uh, more potential in the middle now uh white is the one with influence because these stones right here don't work to don't work together so well anymore because white's groups here and here and even this one uh can cut them off from each other they're so they're not really that well connected and now white has more power in the middle so black tries to protect himself down there and now white's coming into the middle um, white ignores this this move by black uh, black's trying to take sente here but white ignores it and um, pokes it pokes at black's uh, weaknesses so white has, to, white has to connect I mean black has to connect now white responds and this move is sente now so, uh, this peep was to ma was to maintain Sente after he responds down here. Now with this move, he's just healing off the middle, and Black has to try and come in. Now he he's using these peeps effectively to uh, to secure more territory for himself. So black settled the bottom left, and white sealed off the middle. So you can see white's groups that were right here earlier have extended out to here, and uh, cut off these two black groups. So now in game moves, um, they're just trying to play uh, sente moves. Uh, right white here, white just kind of like wiggles into black's territory, taking out pretty much all of his eyes. Uh, the reason white doesn't connect here is because that is only worth um, three points. So white white plays this instead because it's worth more. Uh, and the reason black doesn't protect the snapback right here is again that's only worth well that one looks like it's worth six points maybe so um, but black thinks he has a bigger move somewhere else uh, he takes sente with this cutting those off now he protects white takes sente with that sente with that but loses it um, by having to connect so black takes sente by threatening to capture those stones now black threatens to reduce white's territory, so white blocks. Hmm. 
I don't think this move was totally necessary. Uh, if you think about it, Black has Black should have a bigger move somewhere else. Um, uh, where uh, is anybody's guess? Like right here seems like a pretty good move because if White comes in, you know he's connected still, and it's only a loss of one point. So I don't think that was necessarily needed. Black comes in with a big reduction. And at this point, uh, the game ends. Uh, Black has resigned. Um, the only really, like, uh, everything's pretty much settled. The only unsettled territory right now is uh, down here. So if he goes like this, White comes in. That's, that was basically like, the only unsettled territory. And uh, White ends up winning by about. I want to say like five, five to ten points, maybe. Um, but you know, Black obviously foresaw that, and because he could read ahead, and so he just resigned. Uh, but um, so that's the end of the game. But you know, I think this game was good at showing uh, kind of like useful. Uh, well, first of all, there's a good, good things to note about. Uh, Aji and potential in the middle here. Um, let me see and find the point. Oh uh, yeah, with these moves, um, let me come back. Like, like you can see, like with this move, that move that um, you know, even though Black has influence in the middle, he knows that if he just tries to, if he tries to take the middle, that White's gonna attack him, and uh, so he knows to just use the fact that he has influence to take Sente with moves like this so that's good and also uh, I really liked um, you know what move was it 21 I want to say this move um, it displayed like really really good like reading ability and and um, for Saul and like it's a good move because it has dual purpose it it uh, connects these gets rid of the weakness here and at the same time has this group try and jump out to the middle so uh, that was a really good move and then you know like with the seesaw action that was going on uh, you saw um, so black looks bad and then all of a sudden white or black does in two peeps and secures the middle and now things are looking good for black so uh, I think the use of peeps in this um, is a good ex th yeah they had a good example of, like how to peep and stuff like that and how to use those to your advantage and at the same time how to use influence to take sente um, but that's it for this game uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time